Hey guys, Dina Rose here, and welcome back to another episode from the Wells Knight Patreon server. Guys, it has been a long time since we had our last video here. Um, I've been doing a lot of work on live streams lately, and uh, yeah, you can see there's a ton of new stuff in behind me. So I thought that I would take a moment. Um, I've got a small project I wanted to, to finish up today, but I thought I'd take a, a little bit of time to show you what's been going on and uh, to get you guys up to date for those of you who don't watch the streams. And that's totally that's totally okay if you don't watch the streams. No big deal. So yeah, let's let's get in. So we we still have our box, but that is going to be going away soon. Uh, over here, Amy has been putting together a super smelter and kelp farm. So that's a big. A big thing and it has been working really really well um, one of the projects here in the near future is to come in and hide this kelp farm and super smelter behind a build so that that's gonna be something we're gonna do I've got a build idea that I want to um, build up around this but that's not the project for today uh, the farm tower has been finished um, this farm tower is taken inspiration from uh, the Sears Tower in Chicago. And yeah, I know it's no longer called the Sears Tower, but that's what I always think of it. Hippie Lee's been through here. He tuliped our, our area. <laughs> All the tulips. Yep, yep, yep. Um, I still have work to do on the interior of the farm tower. Um, lots of work doing some decoration in here, interior design, and then a whole lot of interior design in here because right now it's just a shell and I kind of want it to look better. Um, we did move the boo down here. So, I mean, it's doing what it needs to do. It just, yeah, yeah, it needs some help. Little TLC. All right, in stream we did build a bus stop. And this is how we get to and from our places in the nether. These are going to be around our base um, in several places. So these, this is the design of the bus stops that we're going to have all over the place. We need to put one over by the, um, oh yeah, the, the lighthouse, the Iron Farm lighthouse. Um, there needs to be one back over there. I'll show you that in just a moment. We did build this bridge. I believe it was the last stream that we had. Love the way that it turned out. And I have decided that we're going to go with another brick walkway. This is going to be the path, path design for the entire island. If we come up here, we are going to our restaurant. It is called Burger Night. That's right. Not Burger King. Burger Night. Uh, I still need to get the signs up here. Um, I need to get the... Uh, the cashier behind the counter, still a bunch of stuff still to do, but I like the way that it is coming along. Definitely like the way. And of course, this build is simply to hide our cow farms. Yep, because no one wants to see the farms, right? Right? Okay, maybe, maybe they do. And we did make um, a sign. Boy, you can't really see it from here, can you? Amy was mentioning that that it's really hard to see the signs. Yeah, there we go. Burger Night. Yep, Burger Night. That's the name of the restaurant. Um, I, like I said, we, we've been really busy. I do want to do some outdoor seating out here. Haven't done that, finished that up yet. Um, but we're, we're off to a good start. Now, Space Needle, I have been doing a ton of work off stream and off camera uh, with the with the Space Needle. So the it's always been my intent to add a a circular walkway underneath of the Space Needle, and I did get that finished. Um, we have this pathway coming through here, and yes, I I completely used diamond ore <laughs> as a path block. <laughs> because you know what why not what why not use diamond ore as a path block oh Gru just showed up we'll we'll wave to Gru um so yeah definitely like the way that this is looking definitely like it and then um 
not only have I done the the inside of this, I've added paths uh, to two sides. I still need to do the other two. So this this is another steep pathway going down uh, to the build that we're going to be doing over there. And then into the middle, I have finished the center. So we've got these cherry blossom trees. Um, those were interesting to make. I'm going to admit, custom trees are not, they're not my forte, guys. Um, learned a lot making these trees, and I'm pretty sure there's people on the server that could have done so much better than I did. But I'm, I'm kind of pleased with how they turned out for my first attempt at cherry blossom trees. Not too bad. I also made a little fish pond. Grabbed some tropical fish in here. Um... And yeah, I got really lucky because the pond is not on a chunk border. <laughs> that was something I forgot to check before we started uh, building that. But yeah, this whole area is done. We got a little bit of uh, like a, a picnic bench over here going on. Um, over here we've got a little seat with a table. But yeah, these, these custom trees, I think they turned out okay. And like I said, I'm sure there are other people that could have done so much better than I did, but I'm, I'm pretty pleased with it. All right, and the last big thing that we put together since the last video was this. This is our mall. Now, right now, it's just a facade. Um, it is completed as far as the walls all being up. Um, yeah, the, it does have all four walls. It has the roof. But uh, the interior is completely lacking. Um, I need to do some terraforming around here because I don't like the way this hill comes up to it. Um, I think I want to pull the hill back. And uh, the interior, yeah, this is supposed to have three floors, um, lots of stuff to do in here, and today is not the day to do it. But I am pleased. I am pleased with the way that it it turned out. I think I think that the exterior looks good, and of course it will look better once once I can do some terraforming and and fix the land around it. Like that hill's got to go. But yeah, this is going to be our storage room and our villager trading hall, and I'm really excited for that project. But that is not what we're going to do today. I just wanted to get you guys up to date. Let you know what was going on. I think that pretty much, um, yeah, I think that pretty much gives everything that has changed since our last video. I am trying really hard to get content out for you guys. Um, my 2019 is has been very, very full. Trying to balance all of my life responsibilities with. Um, with YouTube and you know I am a wife a mother a teacher <laughs> an employee and uh, sometimes doing all those things doing things to make sure that I'm as healthy as I can be uh, yeah that that ends up taking time oh one more thing that I forgot to mention um, I I terraformed this whole this whole island uh, or peninsula, I should say. So, if you guys, you guys may remember the uh, the farm tower. It was just a box of dirt floating in the ocean underneath of it. Yeah, this now reaches the the ocean floor. And again, th this was a lot of work, and I'm sure there are other people that could have done a better job. Um, but I am pleased with the way that it turned out. I am. I'm. I'm content with it, and. Yeah, I, I, I'm, I'm not going to try to fix it. <laughs> There's a better look at that bridge over there. I do like the way that that one turned out. Um, that over there, that's just a temporary vine farm that, uh, that Amy put together. She needs vines for a project that she's doing. But let's go talk about the project that we are going to accomplish in this video. I didn't want this video to just be me telling you what, what you missed. And what I've done off camera and in stream, um, I want to actually do stuff. And I don't know why I have so many pigmen here. I mean, there's just so many of them. I don't understand. 
we are coming in here because the project that we want to do today is in this um, in this room. So this is our well, obviously our end portal room. And I did get started a while ago uh, putting together a design for this room, but that's as far as it got. I didn't actually finish designing it, didn't finish doing it, and yeah, here we are months later, and this room is still, it's still a mess, you know? It, it's a mess. So we, that's what we're gonna do today. We are gonna work on making this room make sense. Now, Amy has put in this really amazing, I don't understand it, redstone contraption. And what it does is it shuts this door, okay? And it, oh, 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 nope, nope. Let, let, let's turn that back on because it shuts the door, turns off these lights, and then um, silverfish can spawn. But I don't want it to be, I don't want all of the redstone all this circuitry to show. So I want to do something to hide it. And yeah. Yep, that's what we're going to do today. We are going to hide the redstone here and uh, make this room, clean this room up, give it a proper ceiling, give it proper walls. So let me go grab my stuff and we will get into this project. All right, guys, I'm back. I have been doing a little bit of work here. Um, yeah, I had to block off the <laughs> the end portal because I fell into it twice, and then I had to block off the nether portal because I kept backing into it. So yeah, it's it's been fun. <laughs> this is a kind of a confined space, but uh, we are we are getting somewhere. Um, I haven't done this wall yet, but I did get this wall. I think this wall's finished. Um, I took the elements from this this wall that we had originally done with the inset lighting uh, hidden behind the leaves. And that's what I've done here. Um, around the, the, the end portal itself, I have the quartz blocks. So that's bringing in the quartz element from the floor into the, into the side there. Um, through here, this is how you get to the other side. So uh, I still need to do some work here. I want to make this look a little bit better. It kind of looks really, kind of looks trashy right now because of the way that this is put together. But you know, we're we're just we're just working on this. It's a work in progress. I do like having this element in here, um, and then this is going to be on this side. And this side is going to be not exactly the same as this other side, but very similar design. Um, yeah, design features around this side. Now, I believe that these are here to stop the silverfish from spawning. Now, I had to add a block because for some reason, I don't know what was going on, but for some reason, they were spawning and attacking me while I was working. And that just, that wasn't very helpful. So, yeah. But this is what we're working on. Um, I do need to continue working on this side. I don't know. Well, yeah, I was going to say, I don't know if there's going to be a door on this side, but I think there has to be um, so that Amy can get to her redstone. So we'll be adding a door on this side as well. Um, so let me get back to work, but I wanted to show you that we were making progress and what was happening. So I'll get back to work and I will see you in a little bit. Hey guys, we're back and uh, yeah, I've been testing out to make sure that this silverfish um, spawner still works with the, uh, the changes that we made. So this is the other side of... Somewhere there is a zombie trying to get through a door, but it's not here. I don't know where it's at. It's in the fortress somewhere. Um, anyway, we are here and this is what the other side looks like. So it's very similar to the first side and uh, it does still work because yeah, I got a silverfish head. So just go like that. It closes that up and look, there we go right away. Boom. Silverfish is dead. So yeah, it, it still works, which is exactly how it's supposed to be. We've got the door there. 
Uh, we can come out through here. Yep, we, we little little doorways. Um, and then this is the main main room. And then this part goes down into the guts. And there have been some fish down here too. So looks like I've cleared them all out at this point. But yeah, looking good. I I'm really happy with how this turned out. I'm very happy, and I hope that Amy's happy with it too because. You know that's that's part of this making sure that you know what let's let's do this making sure that my base partner is happy as well uh with how things look but yeah there we go everything is looking good the only thing that we still have to do is get rid of all of these logs now my guess is these are going to go into the end so yeah let's let's pop through and pick up our slow Oh dear, there's Silverfish out here. It looks like, um... Looks like we ended up with Silverfish. It also looks like we've got a little bit of a, uh... Enderman issue. But I'm not going to take care of that. They have been doing a ton of work here in the end, and it is looking amazing. Um... So different. So different. I love the way that this end island is is coming together. I'm really interested to see how it finishes up, but we've got like this whole jungle thing over here, lots of water, looking fabulous, looking really fabulous. But I, I'm going to head back through the portal. All right, guys, I think that's going to have to be it for me today. Thank you so much for hanging out with me. I do appreciate it. You guys are awesome and amazing. Huge shout out to my patrons and my YouTube um, channel members. You guys are awesome and amazing. Thanks for uh, supporting me in the way that you do. And thank you to everyone who is watching. I do appreciate you. Let me know down in the comments, what is your favorite build so far here on the island? Uh, is it the farming tower? Is it the Space Needle, the Mall, Burger Night? Uh, maybe it's maybe it's our Iron Farm Lighthouse. I don't know. You let me know. What is your favorite build so far that we've done here on the Wells Night server? But until next time, I I guess I'm gonna have to just say bye now. <laughs>